Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is the Start 11 show for Republic of Ireland's friendly game against New Zealand on Thursday. It's me, Paul Neal, as always, your host. I'm on my own, as you know by now, probably if you've seen the match preview. Gary's in Greece. He was over there for the women's national team game against Greece and um, he'll be back during the week. So uh, make sure to do our usual match previews, final words and stuff like that with Gary when he gets back. But uh, I'm going to go with my team. And obviously you're going to disagree, or you, you, you may agree, but uh, what I, what, the team I would like to see is basically what I'm throwing out here. And uh, you can let me know your team in the comments, because I, I, I do love the Staten 11 shows, because uh, you, you get to see so many people's different views and who, who they'd like to see. And it gives everyone a chance to kind of contribute. I think it gets a lot of engagement, and I like that. So um, I'm going to go with Mark Travers in goal. I think he's got m more experience. He's played in the Premier League. Um, I don't think he's a superior goalkeeper to Kieran O'Hara. I think Kieran O'Hara is very good as well. And the likelihood is that they'll probably switch at half time anyway. So I think Mark Travis should start the game because the likelihood is he's number two behind Darren Randolph. And if anything happens to Darren, touch wood, um, that Travis could come in and do the job. Um, so I do think it's important that he stays sharp. Um, but I do think as well, I do think he's a very, very good goalkeeper. And. He's obviously very highly thought of at Bournemouth as well, but um, that's my goalkeeper situation. Mark Travers, solid, and I think it's a good choice. Uh, then at right back, and it might come a shock to you, but uh, I think Max pretty much already kind of said it. He's brought in Leo Connor as core because he's suspended for the 21s, and he's basically told Seamus Coleman to take the take the break off, really. Um, whereas it's, it's kind of a weird one because Aaron Connolly's out injured now that Seamus probably could have featured or probably could have done with the game because he's suspe he got suspended for Everton the same time he got suspended for Ireland. So it could have been a case where Seamus maybe could have came back in and played this game just to kind of keep fresh. But such is life. Lee O'Connor to play there. I just think Lee is a very, very, very good player. And... Um, you know, you don't get on the fringes of Man United and be captain of the the, the underage set up all the way up. I'm with Ireland if you're if you're bad. I know Martin O'Neill had him in the squad last year and now Mick McCarthy's called him up. So he's doing something right. And I've watched him at under twenty one level a few good few times now and I do think he's a special player. So this could be the making of him. So hopefully he gets the start at uh, at right back. But he's in my team and he's starting right back. And uh, then I'm gonna go with Kevin Long and I'm gonna go with Kieran Clark as my two centre backs. I just think it's important that our backup centre backs stay fit and if there's anything wrong that they have to be able to step up and stay sharp. So if they're playing, I do think that they need to be the ones playing this game so they stay sharp. I think Duffy and Egan are perfectly fine on the bench. Stay there wrapped in cotton wool. They'll obviously want to play the game but I just think there's no real point uh, in playing them, they don't really need to. Uh, Kieran Clark's been playing very well for Newcastle of late and scoring goals. And um, we probably safe to say we've probably missed Kieran Clark um, in our defence. Uh, and he's probably been unfortunate with injuries and he's lost his place because he fell down the pecking order from Richard Kyo and now John Egan because originally he was Shane Duffy's, you know, um, defensive partner after the Euros pretty much. And he played his part as well in the Euros. So. It's, it's it's good to see him back and uh, I'm sure he'll be relishing the chance to get back playing. I'm going to go with Derek Williams, a left back. I feel like he was kind of harshly treated. He played a game against France when um, that snake Declan Royce played. And yeah, he just, for me in that game, he was really, really good against the World Cup champions. And I think it was, I think he didn't do anything wrong and he kind of lost his place. I don't know whether that was through injuries or whatever, but he's done really well. I know he's playing centre back for, for Blackburn, but I'd like to see him play left back just for this game, just to give him a game because the likelihood is long and, and Clark are going to play um, centre back. So I'd like to see him kick on now um, at left back just for this game because I think he doesn't want McLean playing there. So it makes sense if he has Williams playing there and um, there's no Ryan Manning. so. I think it's uh, I think it makes sense just to play Williams there. Um as I said, he's 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 had a good season so far and he hasn't let the country down in the past. Then as my defensive midfield that I'm gonna go with Josh Cullen, who I think is a super little player and he's been amazing for Charlton this season. And he's just gone from strength to strength, 
man of the match last time he played for Ireland. He's captain the under twenty ones. Um, it just seems like a a good leader and steps up to the plate when he needs it. And I just think that him there controlling the game and just letting the other players around him kind of settle down. He gets the ball. He looks to play a pass forward. That's what I like about him. And he's got legs, so he's well able to get around the pitch because the likelihood is Glenn Whelan's pretty much going to start against Denmark. So, um, as much as I'll fight Cullen's case, um, I think he has to have a really, really, really good game against New Zealand to be in with a chance of starting, but we know Mick's probably not going to do that. Um, so, Josh Cullen in there for me, and then two midfielders. Um, I'm going to go with Jack Byrne as a attacking midfielder and uh, probably that number 10 position and just receiving balls and you know bringing people into play uh, as I say when he's when you look at the Bulgaria game and I just spoke about Josh Cullen there you think of um, how well he did when he came on he was just constantly demanding the ball off players and uh, I think he said himself it took, him, it took him a while to get used to the players and took the players a while to probably trust him as well to take the ball and do something with it, but I don't think there's any there's any doubt about that now. I think, um, in my opinion, the fact that he's missed out on match day squads, I think he should be starting this one, um, to make up for that because he's been I think harshly treated when it comes to match day. I know he has to pick two keepers, but I just think, I think it's I think it would do everyone a bit of a treat if you had Jack Byrne in there and then beside him, um, Connor Howrahan. Now the reason I'm picking Connor is because you think back to the Georgia game. The, the most recent one and he got pretty much dropped for that game now okay he didn't have a good game but then again who did but then he didn't you know he got dropped then for Alan Brown and I do think Howerhan has that bit of quality about him and again I spoke about mixing youth and experience and I think playing Howerhan in this game could be a good opportunity you know he'll help other players around him I think he would help Jack Byrne if he's playing in beside him and that's, that's just why I've gone with Howard in as well. I think it's set pieces as well. But that kind of brings me on to my left side of player. And that's why I'm going to go with Robbie Brady on the left. And I think Robbie Brady, a fit Robbie Brady offers you so much. He offers you width. He offers you control. He offers you flair. Um, set pieces as well. He can score free kicks. He, he, he can shoot from range. Um, good delivery on corners. He's just... I think when Robbie Brady's fit, he's probably our best player. Um, people might disagree with me on that, but I just think he is a, the type of player that can he could change a game in an instant. Um, just do something really smart and clever, and that's why I really, really like Robbie Brady. I think he's a smashing player, and I just hate seeing him injured. I just, you know, he's he's came up with so many valuable goals in the past, and um, you always want to see him do well. You think back Bosnia, Italy games, you know. What a player! I just love Robbie Brady, but uh, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna jump off that little love love story now, and I'm gonna go to Troy Parrott. Then I want to have him on, on my right hand side of a four three three, and I just think that now is the time to get him in there and just see what he's about. Aaron Connolly got the got the shout when he scored the two goals against um, Spurs, and he got the shout, and he was in, and he took his chance even with ten minutes, and he was starting. Then he obviously as well made uh, points in training that he showed like he was up to the task if need if needs be and I'd say Troy did too and a lot of the players today were speaking about how, how well he's impressed in training and stuff like that so look I think everybody would be happy to see Jack Burr and Troy Parrott and Lee O'Connor all, all on the pitch starting the game I think I, I think a lot of people would be happy to see that um, and I do think it would be incredible if he scored a goal as well. I think every time he's kind of been asked to step up to the plate and play for a team, like he played for the under-21, scored for them as well. Then he obviously scored the goals away to Sweden as well. Um, it doesn't seem like pressure gets to the kid, so um, I just hope he, he, he plays well. He doesn't have to score. I'd love to see him score, um, but I just want him to go and enjoy himself and just... Just enjoy the experience and maybe get himself within a chance of of playing on on, on Monday night and Mick seems to be a fan. Then I'm going to go with my striker. Uh, I'm going to go for James Collins for this one just because I want to keep David McGoldrick 
fresh and um, wrapped in cotton wool for Monday. Now, why I'm picking James Collins, he, he didn't have good games uh, in, his, in his most recent games, but the game against Bulgaria at the Viva, he scored a goal already. Um, he was on the pitch at the same time as Jack Byrne. And Jack Byrne obviously played that ball to Ender Stevens for the goal. So there's a bit of familiarity there. And, um, you know, Josh Cullen as well. So there's, as I said, there's a bit of familiarity. I oh, can't even say the word now. Familiarity uh, there. And, um, yeah, I just think it's, it's a chance maybe for Collins, if needs be, get him some confidence again in an Irish shirt. If he can get a goal again, you know, it could be a goal option from the bench. I know there's other players there I probably could have chosen, Sean Maguire, Scott Hogan and stuff, but not really doing enough for me to, to make me want to put them in my in my starting eleven. you know. There's other players there that could come on as well um, for this game, but I'm thinking more of coming off the bench for the for the Denmark uh, game, if Collins coming off rather than Hogan, um, full of confidence, then um, I think that's I think that's a good thing. But um that's been my starting 11 anyway. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I hope you liked this video. If you do, drop a big thumbs up on the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, if you're new and subscribe or you're returning and haven't subscribed, please do so now. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing your starting 11 in the comments. So don't forget to do that. And uh, I'll speak to you all soon. Thanks for watching.